What up, YouTube? This is Joy Boy, and we got some more UU for you guys. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about UU. I had a whole lot of fun playing it uh, during that first video, so we're just going to get some more in. Why not? Uh, so we're going to look for a battle. I'll be using the same team again. I felt really comfortable using it. So here we go. We got a game. Looks like he's running some kind of uh, rain dance team uh, with Kingdra and Tornadus in there. Giving us a little good luck, have fun. Right back to you. So, I want to lead the same lead we've done every time with Frostlass. He's leading with Nidoqueen. Queen. Looks like that's going to be his stealth rocker, so I'm going to taunt. You know, no one on my team really doesn't mind. You know, my team doesn't mind the stealth rocks, but if I could have prevented them, it's nice. So here we go. And, yeah, Spikes will be dealing passive damage to everyone except Tornadus, so we're going to get those down. We're going to lose Frostlass in the process, but from there we can just, uh, we can go into, hmm, I think we can just go into Flygon and go for the Earthquake or the U-Turn. Um, yeah, let's think. Because Kingdra has a super effective waterfall. But no, uh, Flygon's our best bet. Now, he could switch here and go to, into Tornadus. I think that's what he's going to do. I can't imagine he would just sack Nino Queen already. Um, if he doesn't go into Tornadus, he's going to be Ice Beaming. So I guess we can go into... Uh, Rake out. We're going to U-turn. I have to imagine he's going to switch. I don't see he doesn't. I had a feeling he wasn't going to. But I just thought such a better play to switch and be safe. Okay. So I've got to think he's going for the Ice Beam. Because that's pretty standard on Nidoqueen. Queen. So that means we shouldn't go into Nidoqueen. Queen. We could go into Raikou. I wonder if Extra Sensory kills. Uh, hmm, 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 Kingdra's not the best, because it'd be taking a good amount of damage, and I don't think Waterfall would take it out, Urgh. this is where you almost want to run some damage, Calcs, um, hmm, let's go with Raikou, there's the ice beam, just forty one percent. Alright. Who thinks extrasensory will take out Nido Queen? I think it won't. I don't know though. Here we go. Extrasensory. Cause man, Nido Queen is bulkier than it looks. And see, only fifty two percent. Oh no. We've lost Raiko. That was our main check to stuff like Tornadus. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Just gonna have to go into Kingdra and Waterfall. Oh, man. See, again, that's... And he outspeeds me! Oh, no! We're falling apart. Into Roserade. Mmm. I think I'm gonna go into Nidoqueen Queen here. We don't want to lose Kingdra just yet. Yeah. See, I think Roserade tends to carry Sleep Powder. I think it's going to Sleep Powder right here. Oh, man. Uh, if he Sleep Powders, I think Cofagrius would be the Pokemon we want to take the Sleep. Although Cofagrius could be good. It could maybe set up Light Game. Oh, well, this game is not going to last for very long. Man, those were some misplays. This was huge. I keep overestimating extrasensory. Okay. Here we go. Ah. Oh. We're going to go for the ice beam. Um, oh, and he switches. So maybe he doesn't have uh, the... Maybe he doesn't have the sleep power. That'd be nice. Or he just didn't want to risk it. Okay. Stealth Rocks or Focus Blast? I'm going to Stealth Rocks. He's a leftover Snorlax, so he can't 
take me out in one hit. And Stealth Rocks will, you know, help to keep building up that damage, especially on Tornadus. Um, end game strategy right now looks like we want to try and maybe abuse the rain he's going to set up. Um, huh. I should maybe switch leftovers to Life Orb. I think, is Life Orb more standard? I'll have to check that. I kind of thought I was running Life Orb to, you know, better abuse sheer force. But, huh, maybe I'll change that after this game. So we're going to focus blast here. Uh, get off maybe like, nah, we miss. That's, but I mean, that's focus miss for you. Mmm, okay. He's got the crunch. I kind of just want to go into Flygon and start spamming Banded Outrage. Here we go. Banded Outrage. Man. These early game misses. Now, a lot of the time, I would do damage calcs here. And maybe I'll start doing those. But I don't know if you guys want to watch me just do damage calcs. Um, so here we go. We're going to be able to two-hit KO the Snorlax. That's good. At least that's out of the way. Um, that was walling Fagrius. Yeah, um, it had the crunch. And so he's into Raikko. And we're still outraging. So we're going to lose Flygon here. Unless he's running like no speed, which I can't imagine. Um, yep, there's the hidden power ice. Now I think we got to go and try and set up with Cofagrius because Kingdra won't live any Thunderbolts. Or he might be running Thunder because he's got, he had Thunder Nidal Queen, he's got these Rain Dance dudes. Alright, so. Hmm. We can go for a Trick Room. There's the Thunderbolt. Okay. Now. Should we set up Nasty Pot? I'm going to do it. He doesn't take us out in one more hit. This is where we probably should have gone Nasty Pot Trick Room. But, oh, and he gets a critical hit. All right. I don't know. He pretty much had this game in the bag before that crit happened. Um, but, who knows? I don't think, yeah, that doesn't take it out. All right. Uh, I guess it was a GD. We had... Definitely some misplays there. Some real bad misplays. Let's just try and get another one. Let's try and get back on that hot streak we're going. Oh, man, and this is a hail team. Haven't matched up against any of these yet. Um, now, yeah, let's just, let's just do our standard plays. These are how we do it. Um, I don't want to taunt here. I think he might want a leech seed or something. And if he doesn't, you know, we've got the sash. Yeah, let's taunt. I can't imagine, because they usually have, like, a, a grass and ice move. I don't know if, like, hidden power fire is standard in UU. Let's start this timer. Put this dude on a timer. Can't be taking all his time. All right, he goes into Quillfish. That's all right. We taunt him so he can't set up... Uh, like toxic spikes or spikes, because I know that's what Quillfish tends to like to do. All right, let's just start setting up spikes. Do what Rose Raid's got to do. He switches into Rotom Frost. I think they're scarfed in UU all out of time, so let's just go for another ladder of spikes. Yeah, there it is. He's tricked us the choice scarf. Um, and we can just set up one more layer. Why not? We'll have three layers of spikes out. That'll be dealing heavily with these grounded Pokemon. Not so much for Rotom Frost or Clay Doll, but there's a Thunderbolt. And he gets disabled. Now, they usually have Blizzard. Because I was going to say we could potentially like switch into Neo Queen uh, if he was going to Thunderbolt again. I think I just want to sack Frost last year, though. No one really wants to come in on a blizzard. Um, yeah. We're just going to spikes again. And that looks like a bit of a wasted turn, because we all had already had three layers of spikes up, but I didn't really want to risk anything else switching in there. Um, he's going into Claydol. We just got to go into Corfagrius. 
Although, mm, we could have gone and like U turned from Flygon. That was probably a better play. Um, but I kind of rushed it there. So, in most cases, we should have U turned out of Flygon because we could have at least gotten some damage up on Claydol before going in to block the spin. Anyway, we're going to set up a nasty plot um, to start trying weakening this clay doll. He toxics us. Um, and now we're just going to start firing off shadow balls. I'm not going to set up the trick room because toxic damage was starting to be racking up and we don't want to we don't want to lose Carfagoras before we can block any spins, potentially. He's taking his time here. I think he's probably wondering if he wants to stay in or not. Yeah, there's the switch. Plus two Shadow Balls can be doing a lot. Oh, of course he's got the Sash from our Frost Lass. Alright. Mmm. I think I'm going to switch into Raikou and Vault switch from there. Because uh, Raikou, I'm sure it can take at least one of anything that Rotom Frost can can do, because it's not specs or anything. Yeah, there you go, 62%. So it's a lot of damage, but um, it was at least, you know, it at least lived it. Okay. Now, Claydol's ground type, so it could potentially stop the the vault switch. We're just going to hit Power Ice here. Because it takes out Rotom Ice no matter what, because it's at 1 HP, and it will stop the the um, Clay Doll from coming in and blocking our choice electric type attack. Alright, so that's Rotom Frost out of the way. And Clay Doll, we just need to, we need to keep Cofagrius at a healthy amount. Um, so it can block Claydol spins. And hmm. And then everyone else will be taking pretty solid passive damage from these spikes. I think Obama Snow, I think, runs Ice Shard in UU. I have to imagine. Alright, he's going back into Claydol. Right back into Cofagrius. Um and this time, I think we're just going to throw out Shadow Balls. Because the toxic damage and the hail damage will be adding up. So here we go. We're just going to go right for the Shadow Ball. Click it and forget. He's going to Stealth Rock. 55%. Now, I think he will recover here. Um, I think he will recover. He outspeeds. He'll definitely recover. Hmm. I wonder if Choice Bandit Flygon one hit, one shots Claydol. Hmm. Because if it does, we could switch into Flygon on the reflect on the recover rather and threaten it out there because I don't want to be leaving Cofagris in uh, for too many more turns. Hail and Toxic will be taking its toll and if he can get a rapid spin off all that wasted effort will be gone. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna double in or well it won't be a double switch because I don't think he would switch but he'll recover here I have to imagine. Uh, and we'll switch into Flygon. Okay, he's just going to double right out. Into Wall Rain. But you know what? We're just going to... Mm, now I wonder if... I think Earthquake... Yeah, we're going to Earthquake here. He'll protect. Um, yeah, he's going to protect here. As we show the choiced... Earthquake, and then he'll want to switch back. Oh, oh wow, man! Did I, I totally blanked on that. Oh man. Okay. 
So he's gonna protect here, and he's just got this. This is where Walrein sucks. Just constantly like. Ah oh, man. Okay. What can we do? Oh man, we lost Flygon there, pretty much for nothing. Okay. Hmm. I think we have to go into Raikou. But he can protect. Man, this Hail team is putting a lot of pressure on us right now. We can't really go into Kingdra. Because Kinga can only really, the only way he can break, sub protect, ice body King, uh, wall rain, is by setting up. And if, you know, if we let him get a sub up, he can stall out Kingdra. I'm pretty sure. So here we go. We're gonna vault switch. Ah, but he'll protect. Raikou will be pretty much down on next stealth rocks. Hmm. This isn't looking good. Let's think. I don't know. I think he. This team is. This is a pretty strong team he's got. Yeah, so here we go. Vault switch. He's just gonna switch into. Clay doll. Alright, he's gonna switch into Clay doll. Let's. Let's go Kingdra. Come on, switch. Okay. Oh, I guess Vault Absorb Lantern. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna sub here. This is our only. This is the only avenue I see for winning. Is okay. He misses the Toxic. That's good. We need stuff like that. We can set up a DD. And I think they probably use like Discharge or something, or just Vault Switch. All right. Probably gonna go into. Quillfish, I guess, for the Intimidate. Uh, I have to imagine. You know, Bulky Water with Intimidate seems to be the way to block Kingdra. Okay, he's just going to go into Wall Rain. So, I'm clicking Outrage. I'm going to do it. I would have thought the move, the right move, would have been to go into Quillfish. Unless maybe he's like not running a Bulky Quillfish would be weird. Okay. Outrage. Doing it. I have to imagine he protects here, yeah. So, ah! Oh, we could have Dragon Dance there! We're making these rash, quick plays. Okay. Man. We could have, we could have DD'd or subbed on that, that protect. But I get, mm. Okay. Ah, uh, I don't know if Outrage would do 70%. But here he subs. Alright, we gotta click Outrage. There it is. The switch into Quillfish. Mmm. We're just... I don't know if we can do enough to break this team. This is a cool team. I thought it looked weird at first. I thought... I didn't think we were gonna have any trouble with this, to be honest. Um. But Wall Rain, man. That's a threat. Inhale? Okay, he's going to protect here. He's got to... Well, I think he'll protect. There we go. There's the protect. Alright, that's good. Now we're back up to plus one. And we can outrage again. You know, if he's not running Ice Shard on Obama Snow, that could be good. That could be really good. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow, live with 5%. Okay. I think he'll protect here. Let's see. Protect. Oh, and he gets up enough from a sub. Hmm. We got a trick room here, I guess. I think we have to trick room. Because he's getting... Let's see. He gets what? Oh, oh well. <laughs> Pokemon Shoda wants us to go right now. Yes, yeah, yeah, see, he has enough to get another sub. So if we had, you know, nasty plotted there, he could have just sub protects all of us now. So here we go. At least we can get off. Ooh, crit. 
Now, again, I don't know if that mattered. I don't play enough UU to know how much, you know, Kofagris' Shadow Ball should do. Okay, uh, just gonna go for Shadow Ball. Only doing 28%. Okay. Now, Trick Room is still up. Hmm. Trick Room is still up. I think that would mean, oh man, I think Trick Room might be up for the rest of the game here. Um, he's got Scald and Vault Switch. Yep, Raikou goes down on Switch In. King Drill only lasts a turn after Hail. And Nitto Queen. I think Nitto Queen has the potential to one hit KO the rest of his team. You know, Ice Beam for Clay Doll. Focus Blast for these two. Although that's so that's a that's a coin flip trying to hit two uh, Focus Blasts. Although no, he doesn't. He's sorry. We can Earth Power Lantern. So you have to waste these. Okay, we have to go into Kingdra, and I think that will make it two turns left on Trick Room. Right? Or is it still three? Yeah, two turns. So he's got to waste a turn to take me out here. Mm-hmm. I wonder... Oh, you know what? I don't think it wastes a turn if we bring in Raikou and it just dies to Stealth Rocks. Oh, we live! Wow. Okay, that's looking better. Now. Hmm. I think what we do is we should bring in Nitto Queen, and then we sack Raiko on the switch, and then, okay, I think this is what we gotta do. We gotta sack Nitto. Um, here we just have to sack Raiko. And sorry, I just gotta get my charger. <laughs> Can't have computer dinos right here. All right, second Raiko. Man, this game's coming right down to the wire. To waste that last Trick Room team. Thankfully, he doesn't recover. Um, and now back into Nitto Queen. Okay. Now, the only way we win here is if Nitto Queen outspeeds Obama Snow, and I run very little speed on Nitto Queen. So. He's levitating. Ice Beam takes it out. Okay. Whew. He has a bomb of snow left. I'm almost positive something like Blizzard would take out Nitto Queen. Um, but we do have the Focus Blast. So if Nitto Queen outspeeds a bomb of snow, we'll have come back to win this game. Earth Power and Ice Beam are no help here. So, only way we win this, Nitto Queen outspeeds and Focus Blast doesn't miss, you know, which happens most of the time. So here we go, cross your fingers. Oh, he's got the Protect! Oh, we hit the Focus Blast, but now we have to hit another one! So it looks like we do outspeed. Alright, so it's come down to pretty much a 50-50 here. Uh, because two Focus Blasts in a row is about a 50% chance. I have I have a feeling we're about to miss this Focus Blast, but here we go. Cross your fingers again. You guys made that one hit last time. Here we go. Ice Shard. Oh, and only doing 34%. Oh, it lives with 10. Okay. Um, hmm. I wonder if Earth Power takes it out here. Hmm. Here, I'm going to pause... The rec oh, I'll pause the recording and I'm doing a quick damage calc. Um, of course, I forgot that uh, Obama Snow is actually neutral to ice. So Ice Beam will definitely take it out. So here we go. I think we've won this game. He'll probably protect here. Um, but we we live we live one more Ice Shard unless he got like a real low damage roll here and Ice Beam should take this out. We live the Ice Shard. And look at that, we came back! 
Wow, I really thought we had this game lost, like, way back here. Um, I don't know. Here, let's, let's look at the instant replay maybe a little bit. So, right here, I thought I had the game won pretty quickly. Uh, I don't know. I probably just underestimated his whole team. I thought I could just stack hazards. You know, we never got stealth rocks out. That would have helped a lot against these ice types and stuff. Um, but yeah, I I don't know. It was around mid-game. I thought he was just going to be able to stall us out. It was really, I guess, when Walrain came out and stuff like this started happening. I did not see us coming back. It was really those those plays with Kingdra, you know, taking out uh, Lantern and then... Wasting those Trick Room teams. That was an awesome game. I don't know about you guys. You guys probably saw tons of errors that I made. Um, but, man, I haven't had a game that's come that close to the wire in a long time. Um, so, with that, I think I'll stop the recording here. I don't want to go on for too much longer. You know, if you have another game that long, the recording will go on for so Oh, it'll be like half an hour. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys thought of this one. The first game was pretty bad. Um, I'm a little embarrassed with that one. We had a couple of misplays, things like not knowing how much extra sensory was gonna do, gonna do. And then, man, I thought we were gonna go 0 and 2, but we ended up pulling this one off. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm probably gonna be doing some. Uh, some suspect laddering. If anyone doesn't know, Smogan is currently uh, suspect testing Landris I, Landris incarnate form. Um, and I was doing a little laddering just on random alts, but I I can bring you some of that if you guys want. I thought about maybe like getting a little higher up on the ladder and then uh, you know trying to get some like better opponents. So I think that will probably be my next video. It could be as early as tomorrow, um, but otherwise, within the next few days. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Click that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with my newer videos. And leave a comment about uh, what you thought of that second game. I might make a hail team now. I was really impressed with that hail team. That crit was probably pretty big. I might go back and do damage counts to see that as well. So, see you guys next time.